All right, now for pans. So for me, a frying pan is essential. If I had to have one, um, gosh, as, as attached as I am to that little guy, it would be this one, a 12 inch cast iron frying pan. I have several stainless steel pans. I don't use them. I don't like cooking in them, um, but I love cast iron. And if you do get cast iron, do some research on how to season it and never use soap on it, never put it in the dishwasher. Um, if you season these properly, they're just as good as any nonstick um, without all of that coating stuff that can come off. Um, if I could add in a second one, I would do a smaller, a seven and a half inch frying pan at 20 centimeters. Then I would add in a one and a half quart saucepan um, with a lid. This is a great pan for rice, grains, anything like that, warming up small amounts of food, making small batches of porridge. And there's just two of us, and so I, my cookware might be scaled down. If you have a family of four, five, six, um, or more, you're gonna want bigger pans for sure. So just keep that in mind when I'm, when I'm going through my essentials. You might wanna just scale up to the next size. So one and a half quart lidded saucepan. And this is a six quart, um, three liter saucier. So this particular pan, I love the shape of it because it doesn't have this hard transition of sides. It's rounded. And so when you have, when you're making a sauce or ice cream or something, a custard, something that's really delicate, you can get your scraper around the sides easily and fluidly and you don't have anything sticking. So this one is a great, great shape. I love the saucier's. Um, and it's also good for larger batches of food or small batches of soups, things like that. If I could add in a big pan, it would be this five and a half quart Dutch oven, also known as a cocotte. It, this pan is cast iron, but it's a glazed enameled cast iron. So it's got a coating on it, so you don't need to be quite as careful with it as you do traditional uh, cast iron. This one's lovely. We, in the United States, call them Dutch ovens. And they're wonderful. I bake bread in this thing. I use it as my bean pot. I roast vegetables, like whole heads of cauliflower roast beautifully in one of these. Um, it's a fantastic pot and I end up using it all of the time. A couple mixing bowls of various sizes are really nice. I might have, um, what do I have? Maybe eight mixing bowls. and. It's quite often that I have to stop and wash bowls in between, um, in between projects because I've used them all up. But most people can probably get by with two, a larger and a smaller mixing bowl. Strainers. I love strainers. I don't know what it is about strainers. I can't seem to get enough of them. Um, they vary widely, not just in shape, but also in gauge. This one I got at an Asian supermarket. It's just a really, really, really um, sturdy gauge wire with really big holes. So if I were to take strawberries, for instance, and smash the strawberry puree through this, it would not capture those seeds. So these holes are larger than strawberry seeds. But this is wonderful to use as a colander for draining vegetables. If I'm blanching something and I can just scoop this in the water and get all of the vegetables out of the blanching liquid in one swoop, um, I love these. I, they actually fit across my sink, so I lay them across the sink and they sit. So when I'm ready to dump a hot pan of pasta or whatever, I can just dump it right into the sink. So these things are great. Um, and that's nice. It's nice to have one with the wide holes, but it's also nice to have a really fine gauge mesh strainer. This one I think has double layer of mesh, and so it's super fine. And last but not least, probably one of the most essential things is a half sheet pan. I picked these up, they're a couple dollars at a restaurant supply. And you can also get cake drying racks um, that, that fit inside of them, which is really handy. So if you're draining something, like I make um, candied orange peels and they're coming out of this hot liquid syrup and you need them to drain, but you don't want them sitting in oozy piles of syrup, 
you can just put them on here and then all of the liquid is caught underneath in the tray. But these half sheet pans, they're great for roasting vegetables. They're great for cooking anything. I put them underneath my pies to catch any liquid that overflows. They're, they're fantastic. I use them all the time. Um, so it's really nice to have a good sheet pan. You can also make cakes in them and brownies and bars and they're just really super versatile. Okay, because I cook a lot of Asian food, my essentials also include a fair number of items for executing those dishes. So the first one is a wok. This is a cast iron wok. It's really light. It's lighter than my cast iron pan because it's so thin. But it conducts the heat really well. And this one, um, you can get these at the wok shop. It's in San Francisco and they mail order. I think this thing is like $13, $12.95, $13.95. Uh, cheap and a fantastic, fantastic pan. I use it all the time. Stir fries, noodle dishes, rice dishes, on and on. I love it. And then these little wok spatulas are great with them because the shape, they're rounded on the edge and so they perfectly fit into the, sh the shape of the wok. So that's another really nice thing. These guys are wonderful too. If you're blanching vegetables or you're cooking something in boiling water or hot oil, you can just scoop right in your pot and dig out whatever it is um, and drain it at the same time. So these little numbers from the Asian stores are fantastic. I love them. Another item that I love and use often is the bamboo steamer. So these guys are wonderful, not only for steaming vegetables, but also steaming dumplings, warming up foods, rice dishes, I steam tamales, all sorts of things in them. Um, again, from the Asian markets, they're, I think they're under 20 bucks, they're cheap. And you can also get um, these little guys, these are the steamer holders. So traditionally, steamers can be put into a wok. I have seasoned my wok over the years and I don't want to boil water in it and undo that seasoning and so I don't steam with my wok. But I do use my pot, one of these, which creates a tight seal so then you can get the maximum steam out of any pot. And these are nice because they're adjustable. You have, you know, this much latitude on each side so you can use several different size pots with them. But that's it. Those are my essentials. These are the things that I could pretty much cook anything I need to cook with these items. Of course, it's nice to have gadgets and all of those little widgets that make things even that much easier, but they're not needed. I'll put um, some of the dimensions and a list of the items in the text box just below this video. So if you have questions, leave them in the comment section. If you like these videos, hit subscribe. You'll get new ones updated weekly. And also hit the thumbs up button. It really helps the searches and helps others find their way here.